understand that people want to, you know, play the victim and be like, it's really hard to be white. It's super hard. It's super hard. People are racist towards us too. What does that mean? Okay. A person of color said they didn't like you because you were white. Okay. That's not racism. And as much as people want to say that racism isn't always systematic, it kind of is though. Especially in this country, because... So if I tell somebody that's not black that I don't like them because they're not black, that's not racist. I mean, I, you people are delusional. You, you, you people are seriously delusional. How can I sit there and say I don't like somebody because of their race? But that's not racist. That, 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 that's whatsoever not racist at all. But unless somebody would have told that to me, that would have been racist. Sometimes I'll be trying to understand you people logic because maybe like I need to have an open heart to hear what you people have to say. But I, oh, honesty, bro. I mean, you people could just get stupider and stupider by the day by the day. I, just how I, just how that sentence didn't make sense. That's exactly how y'all be sounding. Y'all just get stupider and stupider and dumber and dumber and dumber. Exa I'm gonna talk just how y'all talk. Stupid, delusional. That's exactly how I gotta talk. It don't. It, it seriously don't make sense how you people can honestly sit there and first of all, by you being white, that's already like a. You know what I'm saying? You already just took a left turn. How can you be so self-hating? How? 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 That's what I'm trying to figure out. You're white telling yourself that you're putting your you, the words that's coming out your mouth. See, people don't understand that the brain, the mind is so powerful. The words that you speak against your life. I'm, I'm serious. You have to really watch what you speak against your life. You tell yourself that you're broke. You tell yourself that you're this. You tell yourself that you're that. All that's going to come to pass because all you're doing is speaking negativity out your mouth. So you telling me if a black person come up to you and say they don't like you because you white, you won't feel offended because you just be like, well, I mean, hey, it's okay. It's okay that you don't like me because I'm white. It's okay. That's okay. I'm fine with that. But then let you would have said that to them, bro, the whole streets and everybody would have been riding. You probably wouldn't be alive right now, but that's okay. You okay with that. I'm, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm tired of falling for the little, I'm not falling for the little, the, the little delusional things that y'all be thinking. Y'all be thinking of some really stupid things. It just don't make sense. It, it literally don't make sense. Racism towards people of color has actually prevented them from moving forward. You know why? You know why you can't be racist towards white people? It's because we have generational wealth. People can hate me all day long for being white. You know? And it, it can totally bother you if people don't like you because you're white. That's okay. But you can't say that it's racism because you've never been held. No way she just said that. I, 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 didn't think, I didn't think people could be this so dumb. I didn't think people could be this so dumb. That, that's literally how they talk. They're so dumb. I didn't know people could really be that so dumb. Like, literally, that's so dumb. I'm literally talking just how y'all would talk. How could you be so dumb, bro? How? How? The reason why black people can't be racist to white people because we have generational wealth. Not, uh, sweetheart, not every white person has generational wealth. And you talking about, you know, black racism stop black people from moving forward. Who fault is that? Who fault is that? That racism stop black people from moving forward. Who fault is that? Because in all honesty, it didn't stop me from moving forward. I feel like the same position that a white person has in the company right now, I feel like I get that same position if I put 20 times more work than that white person did to get in that position. It don't matter on my race. It, it seriously don't matter. I look at it like that. Black people stop themselves from moving forward. In life, you have to move forward. You have to. You have to grow. That's the point of life. You're, you, you shouldn't stay at the same level that you've been at for years. You need to grow. You need to elevate. If somebody says something racist to you, okay, and move forward. Keep going on with life. It's individual people out there that are racist. I'm not doubting. I'm not saying that there's not racism out there. No, there is individual people, keyword individual, 
They're individual white folks. They're individual black folks. They're individual Asians. They're individual everybody that's racist. But every white person, every black person, every Asian, every Hispanic is not racist. At the end of the day, you have to keep going forward with life. You can't keep allowing racism to hold us back. It can't hold us back. Y'all allow what happened back then to our ancestors keep y'all from going forward in life today. It doesn't like seriously, bro. What happened then is not happening now. I'm not. Well, no, I'm not gonna say it's not happening now. It is happening now, but it's not happening as much as it was back then. See, back then you could even go into the same store as a white person. You could even drink from the same water fountain as a white person. You couldn't do none of that. I could sit at a water fountain right now behind a white person and drink from the same water fountain they're drinking from. I can go into the store at the same store that the white people go to. I can go there and shop. I could go there and do all that. All these is one of the cheapest stores that I know of. But then Walmart is one of the most expensive stores that I know of. All these, I see nothing but white folks. Okay. But they, you know what I'm saying? I, I see nothing but white folks. But I could go in there peacefully and shop without being criticized. Walmart, I see nothing but black folks. But I also see white people going in there peacefully without black people kicking them out. I'm just saying, bro. You have to grow in life. You seriously have to grow. Why you can't be racist towards white people is because we have generational wealth. People can hate me all day long for being white, you know? And it, it can totally bother you if people don't like you because you're white, that's okay. But you can't say that's racism because you've never been held back in your life because you are white. And from your photo, I can see that you're probably a woman. If you've ever been held back in your life in any way, it's because you're a woman, not because you are white. Okay, we have never been denied loans, denied housing, denied a job, denied basic human rights what? because of the color of our skin. Same thing with black people, sweetheart. Same thing with black people. What? Name me one company that denied a person from being black because they, they was black. I, just let me know because that's how I check. If somebody deny you for the color of your skin, bro, you know what you know what type of money you can run up on? Boy, Richie, Richie, Rich. I'm talking about, bro, I'm buying me a Lamborghini, my Mercedes. I'm buying me GY, all types of stuff. I'm finna get a check. I'm finna get a check. Getting me the best lawyer in town. He gonna get half of that. I'm finna get me a, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna go buy me a, go buy me a big old steak from Steak 48. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Let somebody deny me from a job because I'm black. Boy, I'm going to steak 48 by me, a big juicy steak, and I'm going to eat it with the knife, with the fork, with a suit on, peacefully. I'm going to, mm -mm. oh my gosh, how are you doing today? I'm, bro, I'm going to be, man, what? But all just aside, you're not making sense, woman. You're, 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 <laughs> see, what you're doing is you never been denied from a job. You never been denied from loans or whatever. You never been denied from that. But you can't say that all oh, white people. Never been denied. Because there's a lot of white people that have been denied because of the color of their skin. I mean, if you want to say that, I, I me personally, I don't think nobody been denied from something because of color. Now, it depends. Now, but from, but from jobs, I don't think nobody's been denied because of the color of their skin from jobs. That's me. They may think, oh, they, they didn't hire me because I'm black. No. It, it, it probably because you came in there smelling like weed. You came in there with your pants sagging. You came in there not dressed up properly for the for the uh for the job. You came in there looking like a thug. That that may be some some reasons why you didn't get hired. It's not because you're black. It's because you don't have no common sense to oh I'm gonna go to a job and you probably was ten minutes thirty minutes late. I'm just saying. And same thing, white people, white people, if, if they ever, if a white person ever felt that, oh, I got denied because I'm white. No, it's probably because you went in there smelling like cigarettes. You went in there smelling like this. Yes, I am like, I'm calling it out. I'm calling it out because, bro, I'm tired of people saying that, oh, it's because I'm my color, my skin It's because of color. No, it's because it's just you. It, it's just you. Maybe you didn't answer the proper questions. They was asking you, they was telling, they was asking you questions. You maybe you didn't answer them properly. Maybe you're not just the one to fit that role. That's not what God had in store for you. If one door get closed, God has another one for you. So why are you complaining? Because 
you think it's the color of your skin. No, it's just God didn't want you at that company. He has something greater for you. He wants you at this company that's going to pay you way more. You're going to be a CEO at this company, but you decide to say, oh, it's because I'm black because this company didn't accept me. No, that's not the reason. God shut one door, but he opened another one. I'm just saying, bro, it's the real. It's literally the real. But you can't put your experience on every other white person because every other white person been denied, been this, been that, been that. Like, come on, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. To human rights because of the color of our skin. And let's be real. If there is a person of color in front of me being like, yo, I hate you because you're white. They don't actually hate me because I'm white. They hate the history of the country and they hate the privilege that comes with the color of my skin and how I don't have to work as hard as they do. And I feel like that's fucking valid. And if you don't, I think that's effing valid. Bro, you're sound, bro. You literally are the definition of dumb. Have y'all ever seen the movie? I think it's called uh, Ed, Eddie and Eddie or show Ed, Eddie and Eddie. Oh, no, no, no. Was it dumber, dumb? Dumber, dumb miss, or dumber. It's something like that. Dumber, dumb miss, dumb. I don't know. It's something. I, I hope y'all know what I'm talking about. But that's exactly, she's the definition of all of that. Definition of all of that. Are you seriously sitting here saying that it's okay for a black person to come up to you and say, I hate you because I'm white? No, no. When they say that, they, are, they pretty much mean it. They pretty much mean that. Because you can't go to one individual white person and say, I hate you because you're white. Because you mad about... What happened in the past? You mad what the what some white people done did in the past to our ancestors? You're mad about that when you didn't even live through that time? How you mad about that, bro? How are you seriously mad about what happened to your ancestors? You know what I'm saying? Them, them being called out of their names, but you go ahead and go to your homie and call him the same word they the the the, uh, the slave masters used to call their slaves. The N-word. I'm just saying, how how are you mad about that? <laughs> how? I'm just being honest right here. I'm seriously being honest. And you are just a self-hating white person. You're literally just a self-hating white person. You hate yourself. If you don't have love for yourself, you need to go find Jesus and find that self-love. Because Jesus loves you for you. But for you, like, just hating on hating on your own race is ridiculous. I mean, I just spit the real. I never hate on black people. I just speak what's real. I don't want to sugarcoat anything. Because I'm not going to fall for the fake narrative. That they put out there. I'm not going to fall for that. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I just keep it a buck. A buck 20. You know what I'm saying? And this woman right here is just like. Just sounds so stupid bro. I feel bad for you. I feel so sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. I'm really going to pray for you. Because dog. This is honestly ridiculous. It's honestly ridiculous the way that you think. And the rest of your fellow fellow friends think. The history of this country and they hate the privilege that comes with the color of my skin and how I don't have to work as hard as they do. That's so cute. And I feel like that's fucking valid and if you don't, I don't give a fuck. First of all, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, so that video is done with but uh, seriously, let me be real. Number one, white people don't have privilege. Okay? White people don't have privilege. Now, I'm not going to say all white people don't have privilege. I feel like every race has some type of privilege every race but i feel like it's just the individuals that have that certain privilege but you telling me that white people don't have to work as hard as black people but yes they do it's a lot of white people out here who first of all i just okay yesterday i went to infinity y'all no not infinity t-mobile i went to t-mobile right and it's this it was this white guy that came in i could definitely tell that this man is working like night day night day. that man came in there i mean you could tell he's been like going crazy working just to you feel me just to make a check i mean the shoes was all raggedy the his clothes was very beat down the jacket was very dirty like yeah you know like me i haven't had a haircut in like almost three months he like he haven't had a haircut in about three years i'm not judging the man but what I, this is what i'm getting to the fact that he looks like that shows impressed he was at xfinity paying for his wi-fi bill i mean not xfinity he was at t-mobile paying for his wi-fi bill you know what I'm saying? So he was there paying for his Wi-Fi bill. It shows that that man be working hard. I didn't look at him like, dang, he homeless? Because obviously if he was homeless, he wouldn't be paying for a, 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 a Wi-Fi bill. You feel me? But I'm looking at him like, dang, bro, been like working. Like he like he's been working like now. He looked tired, like bags under the eyes. He just look exhausted. So you can't sit here and tell me that white people have to work as hard as black people. Yes, they do. 
Maybe you don't have to work as hard as black people. Maybe you just got a husband that's rich and taking care of you and you can't take care of yourself. Maybe that's the real reason. And maybe your husband is white. And maybe you just got all that money. But it's a lot of white people out here who got to work hard. Who got to work nine to five jobs. You know how I many white people actually work at like fast food joints and that's probably their only source of income. Fast food doesn't pay that much. McDonald's around me pay $14 an hour. And I'm pretty sure they get paid every two weeks. Do the math. They're not bringing in nothing. Nothing whatsoever. But I'm just saying, I, I can't stand people that just hate. Like, just hate, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below, man. Uh, Seriously, I really want to know what y'all thoughts are on this video. How y'all feel about this? Hit the like button, subscribe to the post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.